I did miss him saying, this is a pen. They should have plagiarized that one line from the movie. Hang on to that. It is a mighty instrument. This is a pen. This is a pen. I cannot find my Camp Half-Blood shirt, and it's making me really sad. Where is it? Percy Jackson just dropped on Disney+, Plus, so I had to drop everything and watch, of course, and I've set up my camera so we can kind of watch and react together. Ah! I didn't want to be a Half-Blood. I feel like that just healed something in me. I'm relatively new to the fandom. I didn't grow up with the books. I read them for the first time this year. So for all of you out there who read the books when you were kids, who have all this like nostalgia for them and long-term love for them, how, how you doing? You doing okay? How does it feel to cry? Being more like shoving Nancy in the nearest dumpster. Oh. That's my son. That's my boy. That's my boy. Eight and left no crumbs. He's like, call a doctor. But not for me. I didn't touch Nancy. So what'd you get kicked out for? Hmm? He said I attacked a kid on a field trip. Okay. All right. But still, please, could you have them put the peppers on my sandwich? <laughs> Gabe felt... Gabe felt a little, like, I don't know, sanitized. Say what you want about the movie, and I have, but that Gabe was very scary and like in like a very real and grounded way. Um, this one, I love how they have this tone of like fun and silliness that Percy Jackson needs that the movie was missing, but it's, at least in this moment, I feel like it's missing some of the weight that this particular character needs. I do think they did a good job of showing how cool Sally is and how strong Sally is. I love Sally Jackson! And, and I know the full extent of Gabe's abuse isn't really revealed until the end of this book, so I suspect we might get that emotional weight when the time comes. The blue food! This episode is a 10 out of 10 for me just for that. Dan, that I'm weird. Believe me, I get it. But I'm afraid something may be really broken now. I really, I really like how they're emphasizing this theme of Percy feeling different and broken very strongly in the TV show because that was the foundation of the books, Rick Riordan writing this story so his son wouldn't feel like being different is a bad thing. And that's what made me fall in love with, with Percy Jackson because, you know, I missed reading these as a kid and I, like I said in my reading vlog, the first time I read it, I, at first I was like, oh, is this... Is this gonna be, is this like too young for me? Am I gonna be able to get into this? Like, I don't know the, it, it, if, if, it's, if it's for me, but I, and I'm sure a lot of you who, who grew up reading to escape to other worlds because you felt like you didn't fit in, um, can relate to the idea of feeling like something's wrong with you, of, of feeling like you're different. Um, and, and so to have a story where those parts of you that make you different are actually your strength. That means so much to me. And that's what made me fall in love with this story in particular. And and I really love the show for putting a focus on that theme. You are not broke. <clears throat> I just need a second. I just need a moment. I'm fine. What an episode. There were some slight changes, but overall, you can tell they understood and they cared about Percy Jackson and about telling Percy's story right. And it shows. And maybe it's because I just watched the movie, so the bar was like, the bar wasn't on the floor, the bar was in the underworld. Um, but that felt very, very faithful to the books, and more importantly, faithful to the heart of the books. Because as I've said, I don't need adaptations to follow every single detail exactly. I mean, it's, of course, it's, it's nice. It's nice when they do, but like, as long as they keep the heart of the books and the characterizations correct, that's what's important. And to be honest, I don't really even want adaptations to be like word for word exact to the book because then, you know, we have the books for that. We don't need an exact replica of the books. I think what a great adaptation does is it can build on the story in a way that really benefits the story. On to episode two because I don't need to sleep. You drool when you sleep. Annabeth, what's, where's that, where's that one, that one meme that's like, I've only had Annabeth, I've only had Annabeth for one line. 
but that that's 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 the one. Peter Johnson is here. Peter Johnson. Okay, thank you. Thank you. They got the vibe of the God Sprite. Sunglasses, Coke can, none of this fancy gentrified British Greek god in in royal clothing. But did you? Okay. You really don't want to start with this guy. He's starting with me. Percy. They completely understood the vibe of Percy and Grover, which is basically we we don't want any trouble. I do. Love the vibe of Camp half -Blood. It's just like I pictured it when I'm reading. I'm ready to go there. I'm not too old, right? <laughs> I wanted to say I'm really sorry. I know what you're going through. Believe me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the Luke that... Wait. Um, if you haven't read the book... Um, uh, cover your ears for a second, or like mute, mute me until this spoiler warning sign goes away. <laughs> okay, friends, this is the Luke that's going to make me look like a fool for rooting for him. I was rooting for you, we were all- He looks like such a trustworthy and respectful king. This is the type of boy who, who calls his friend's parents Mr. and Mrs. so-and-so, and then they're like, what a nice young man, he's so polite. I'm ready to be hurt again. Oh, hers. Always. She's my little sister. <laughs> I need a second. I need a sec. I need a second to her. Oh. All right, I feel like the lighting is so weird. The sun has set. What time is it? It's 9 p.m. And I'm watching Percy Jackson. Thanks. But I appreciate you, you know, standing there silently. That. That's it. That's. That's the relationship. It's beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is wrong with sorry, you? Sorry, Annabeth just pushing Percy into the water. Just, that was an upgrade. That was an upgrade from how it happened in the book. Your dad's calm. That was just how I pictured it happening. Oh, that's a good looking trident. They spent all the money on the trident, so there was no VFX budget left for the Hellhound. But for real, I, like the, the sort of like chills you get in that scene in the book, they capture that very well in, in this scene here. I, I am Sally, Sally Jackson's, Jackson's son. son. Go off, Percy! That's it? Where's the rest? There must be more! I feel like that was really, really well done. Um, you can tell they did it with respect and care for the author and for the fans. And you can tell that this show they made with fans of the book in mind. And I think they also did a good job of, of keeping it so that you can watch it if you've read the story and you can watch it if you're not familiar, but I do think they put a lot of care into making it a good adaptation for people who are fans of the story. But again, I didn't grow up with Percy Jackson. I, I'm, I'm a relatively new fan, so I would love to hear opinions uh, about the show from people who maybe grew up with it, or maybe maybe from people who, who haven't even read the books, or, or if you're like me and you're in the same bo boat and you read the books for the first time this year, like, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to hear what everyone thought. I think what really made me happy was watching the behind the scenes video of Rick Riordan, Uncle Rick. So I'm, I'm Chinese and we call people like, auntie and uncle as a sign of respect like if they're an old like your friend's parents or someone like older than you uncle rick yes it feels very like respectful but watching him react to the series and just seeing how much he loves the cast and and how much he loves the series was was so nice yes annabeth he actually told her he said no matter what people say about you remember i chose you and that just makes me so happy he is such a supportive gang all right like i said let me know your thoughts in the comments i can try to do more episode reactions if people are interested in seeing them. I'm just excited to be watching this with you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you for getting me into Percy Jackson because I hadn't had plans to read it. And then so many people were telling me like, no, you have to read the series, you have to read the series. So I'm, I'm now enjoying this and getting to experience it with you and because of you. And so thank you. If you enjoyed that, please like or and or subscribe. I always feel so weird saying that at the end of every video. Maybe I'll just cut this. Please, uh, spare a like in this wretched YouTube economy. Is there a good Percy Jackson, like, closing phrase? If this was a Harry Potter themed video, I could say, like, mischief managed, but is there- do we have a catchphrase? Like, that I could end a video with?